boys and girls, this is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Coding Fun with Miss Brianne. And this is a series where I provide brief talks on all the different coding toys, games, robots, and computer software that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library, as well as within my own personal collection. Now, as I mentioned before, each month I focus on coding toys, games, robots, and computer software in a specific area. And last month, the month of May, I had shown you coding robots that you can control with a tablet and or a smartphone. Now for this month, for the month of June, it's an entirely different focus. For this month, I am focusing on toys and robots that are from the company Spiro. And today's robot Spiro robot is called the Spiro Mini. And all it is is a tiny little ball shaped robot that you can program and drive around. Now before I begin, I just want to let you know the Spiro Mini was created by the company Spiro Inc. And like I said, it's a fun little robot. And also the two apps that I'm going to show you, Spiro Play and Spiro EDU, are also from the company Spiro Inc. Now basically, all you do, like I said, your Spiro Mini is a kit. It comes with the Spiro Mini, and you can choose what color shell you like. And, well, also a charging cord, and mini pins and mini cones, which you can use to create obstacle courses. And basically, the Spiro Mini is just a little robot that you can code to spin around and move around, roll around, or you can use the remote control in the Spiro Play to make it roll around and drive around. So, we are going to access the Spiro Play app right over here. And this is basically the interface it's upside down, but this is basically the interface which you get. And the Spiro Play is used con to control the Spiro Mini, the Spiro Spark Plus, which they no longer make, the Spiro Bolt, and the Spiro 2.0 and Spiro Spark, which again are no longer made. We are going to connect the Mini. Now I'm just going to connect the Spiro. And this may not work, boys and girls. I may have to activate the mini. Just give me one second. And all you see is a joystick, and you just use the joystick to, to drive them around the Spiro Play app just like so. And it has different drive modes for you to choose from, which is a lot of fun and very creative way. And you can also play games with your Spiro Mini as the controller on the Spiro Play app. So with the Spiro Draw Play app, the possibilities are endless. And then finally, hold on one second. 
There's also the Spiro EDU app, which you can code with a variety of different robots. And you can create an account if you want. But this is the interface of the Spiro EDU. You can just, you can use pre-programmed projects. You can create your own programs. And you can create code with a variety of different robots. And this is the interface of coding, of the coding. Now you can use draw, for, that's for beginners, or they have draw or they have block coding. So again, but the possibilities are endless. And with the Spiro EDU app, you don't code with just the Spiro, with just the Spiro Mini or the Spiro, you can use the Spiro Mini, the Spiro Bolt, any of the Star Wars, Spiros, and all the other re robots that Spiro has made. But anyway, that is all in the Spiro Mini for today. Next week I am going to be talking about another, a different Spiro product. But until next time, this is Miss Brienne saying take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.